Do you ever wonder what you're walking on? Well, in this video, we're going to explore the wonderful physical traits of soil. On the surface, you may think this is gravel, or this is clay, or this sand. And some might not even think of it at all. But like your fingerprint, each sample of soil is unique and a part of a living, breathing organism and therefore is a living organism itself. Soils composed of different material and different sized particles. This is called heterogeneity. Sand, silt, and clay are the main types of soil. There are a variety of types that can range anywhere on this triangle. As a part of the critical zone, soil is super important. This is the critical zone and is what makes all life possible here on Earth. These look the same, right? Well, because of our old friend heterogeneity, they're actually quite different. This is a really close up picture or x-ray of those two pictures that we thought looked the same. As you can see, they are not. It feels nice to walk barefoot in the sand on the beach. It doesn't feel so nice to walk barefoot in gravel. Why? What makes sand so different? Let's take another close-up look at some sand samples and see. Notice how the pieces are much smaller than the last extra we saw? This, in our old pal, heterogeneity, is what makes sand feel better to walk on. Comparing the first soil x-ray to this sand x-ray, you can see soil is pretty different. Each color represents a different type of material in the soil. You can also see that each sample physically looks different. No two pieces are in the same place, just like your fingerprint. You're walking on some pretty amazing stuff. Soil can even do things like this. This is iron ore, which was created in and by soil. Who knows? Maybe Iron Man used some material like this. As you can see, there's more than meets the eye or foot when it comes to soil so don't treat soil like dirt and the next time you're walking around think of all the unique things that are underground 